This guys is probably the laptop that majority of you are actually looking for. Like you know it's your everyday laptop that can do most of the things, uh, not for heavy tasks like editing or gaming, but just everyday office work with good performance, a nice display for watching videos and streaming Netflix, a full day's battery life, and it's not too expensive. So guys, it's the Lenovo Slim 5i and it starts at about 80, 81,000 on the website right now. And it's got the latest 2024 specs, so it should be good enough to get you through your day's work. But what matters for you is that is it good enough to get all your work done smoothly and without slowing down? Is it easy to carry around? Is the display bright enough for you to be able to watch content? Can you edit photos, videos and what about gaming? And does it last an entire day on a single charge? And guys, while this video is being done in collaboration with Microsoft and Lenovo, but you know, I'm going to promise you to bring out all the facts. And if you still think I've missed something, please feel free to ask me in the comment section. And guys, at this price point, this is actually one of the most affordable AI enabled Lenovo PCs in India. But what I mean by AI, let me explain. So let's say you get up and go. It'll detect that you're not around and then it'll lock itself. And when you come back, it detects that you're back, scans your face and logs you in. Then there's also something called a super resolution that uses Lenovo's AI engine to upscale poor resolution videos on browsers like Chrome, Edge and Opera. It's also got things like smart power. So when you charge it, how much current and voltage should go, what the thermals should be like, it'll just adjust all of that to increase your battery longevity. I mean, it's got a couple of things like that. We'll talk about all of it. Let's go step by step. Let's first talk about the design and the build here. So guys, this is a compact portable machine. You know, just look at its overall size. Quite lightweight and it's got an aluminum casing all around. So it looks classy and minimal. I mean, it's perfect for, you know, like an office setup. But do keep in mind this form factor, it's not an ultra book form factor, okay? It's got a bit of thickness to it, but I think the fact that it weighs less than one and a half kgs, I really don't have much to complain about. Okay, in terms of ports, you get two USB-A ports, two USB-C ports, which also supports PD charging and display port. You get one HDMI port, a 3.5 mm audio combo port, and a micro SD card reader. There is no ethernet or LAN port, and that is something I do miss in a lot of laptops today. Uh, it does have Wi-Fi 6E, and it's got Bluetooth version 5.2. You've also got this IR camera here at the top with a privacy shutter, which of course you can use for video calls and to log into Windows as well. Now at the bottom, you've got this grip here, but I do believe it could have been better. The lid opens and closes easily without much slippage. And if you see, the lid goes all the way to the back, just a little short of 180 degrees. So you've got plenty of angles to work, which especially helps to kill reflections at times. And this really works if you tend to sit on a sofa or on your bed to work. So you can just bend the lid further to get a better viewing angle. Though I don't think that's really good for your back, so avoid. Also, you get speakers that are facing upwards. They sound decent. I mean, they're not very loud and they definitely do lack a bit of bass. But here's a sample. But the thing is that they sound very clear because they're the top of the keyboard. But, you know, I will recommend that you use headphones if you're planning on watching movies or streaming Netflix or something. So yeah. FYI, if you do a lot of calls, there's actually an option built in that reduces noise from your caller's end. So you're able to hear them very clearly. And even the mics are, you know, they have AI noise cancellation. So if you're speaking and if there is noise around you, it actually filters the noise and sends your voice across, which is Great. Now I do have some thoughts about the keyboard and the trackpad and we'll talk about that. But first, I want to talk about the display. Now I believe the display is easily one of the most important thing because you look at that screen the most. And I really think that's the first thing you'll actually really like about this device. So it's an OLED display and it looks great with, you know, all that colors on it. It's got a 16 is to 10 aspect ratio and it's more than sufficiently sharp with a high resolution for a 14 inch display. And I don't think you'll need more than that. And by the way, there is a smoother, sharper version of the same uh, laptop. You can get that too, but this is not that one. Now, one of the top concerns is, can I use this outdoors to watch stuff or to work without really stressing my eyes? And you know, it goes sufficiently bright and there's actually no loss in terms of colors as well. Though, you know, if you're watching something that's a little too dark, like the scene is very dark, obviously you're going to struggle. But mostly when you're sitting outside, you're not watching things, you're probably working, you're on the web or you're using Microsoft Word or some office application, which is usually in a light mode and that should not be an issue. And yes, because the screen finish is glossy, it does reflect. But again, just tilt it at an angle that works for you and you can somewhat battle that out. Now, let's come to the more meaty part, right? The performance. And let me take you through the specs real quick. 
So this one has the latest Intel's Core Ultra 5 CPU with up to 16 gigs of onboard RAM and 1 TB of storage space. Now guys, look, those are the specs of this particular device that I have, but you have the option to upgrade it to the Core Ultra 7 chip with 32 gigs of RAM, and I'll show how you can do that towards the end of the video. So hang tight. But you know, with the specs I have, all of this translates into fairly quick performance. You could have multiple apps open together and you could be working between them without much lag or getting stuck. It'll be smooth and things will be very snappy and quick. In fact, the laptop can predict workload needs and accordingly tweak the power requirement to only give you more power when you need it the most. And that way it can really be battery efficient as well. Now you can definitely use it to edit photos on something like the Lightroom, that will be a breeze. For Photoshop, sure you can. I mean, if you don't have very heavy imagery or complex layers after layers, other than that, it'll be fine. For video editing, I tried using Premiere Pro. Now, obviously guys, you can't depend on this for very heavy professional video editing using 4K files or, you know, complex transitions and animations. But if you just want to edit videos shot using your phone in like 1080p, that would be just fine. Uh, even if it gets a little slow, just drop the playback quality and you can continue to edit. And guys, this isn't really, you know, a gaming laptop. I mean, gaming laptops generally require a dedicated graphics card, which obviously this one does not have. But you know, if you want to play games like Valorant or Apex Legends, that can work at respectable frame rates. So if you want to do some form of gaming, you'll be able to pull it off at optimized graphics, but don't expect any AAA titles to work on this too well. I mean, if you're looking for something like that, just <laughs> look elsewhere. But what about uh, heat? Look guys, for everyday work, I never really found it to be warm. Uh, but when I did edit some videos on Premiere Pro, the fans did turn on and it did, you know, get mildly hot. And by the way, there is a peak performance mode that you can manually switch to if you want your laptop to work at peak performance only. All right, guys, next, before I talk about battery, I just want to talk about the, the keyboard, the typing experience and that trackpad. So the keyboard is quite standard. It's got a white backlight, a decent travel distance in the keys, nicely sized keys. They're neither too noisy nor too quiet. I mean, here's a quick sample for you. But guys, there's one thing about the keyboard that's a little different. It's got a dedicated Microsoft Copilot key. Now, I don't know if you know about this, but I think Copilot is one of the most underrated and underused features in Windows. Uh, it's basically an AI powered assistant, right? And you can ask it anything. It'll summarize answers from across the web and give it to you. But it'll also help you do things very effectively and very quickly. Let me share a few samples with you. For example, let's say you're a developer. You could just press this Copilot button and ask it to provide an HTML code for a login screen along with a forgot password link. It will actually give you the HTML code for it, which you can copy and then customize. Or even just simple system commands like turn on dark theme. So if you don't know where that setting is, Copilot will do it for you right here. In fact, I can just ask it to write an article on any topic and it's going to do that for me. It's amazing. And you can launch it through this button here or you could press Windows C or just press it here on the taskbar. I mean, there are multiple ways to initiate Copilot. And by the way, you don't have to always write your prompt. You could just give it a voice prompt or you can upload an image that has a prompt and it'll do it. Now guys, the basic version is actually free of cost. And of course, if you find more value in it, you could go for the advanced version at a slightly more cost. The trackpad is quite standard. I think, you know, the button clicks could be made more silent and less clicky. It has a significant travel distance, which personally I'm not a fan of, but I think it's just a matter of getting used to. All right, guys, lastly, the battery life. So it's got a 57 watt hour battery capacity and it comes with a 65 watt adapter which looks something like this. It's pretty lightweight, you know, it's just got this plug and this Type-C uh, cable over here. There's nothing else in between, so really nice. And you can in fact also charge your phones or tablets with this charger. The other thing is you can charge this laptop with any other Type-C charger as well. Of course, if it's 65 watts, that's really good. But even if it's 45 watts or 30 watts, it'll still get charged. But what about battery performance, right? So if you're using it for just regular office work, which is like, you know, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, uh, you're using for you know browsing the web, listening to music, watching occasional videos, emails. This actually lasted me for about six to seven hours um, at 50% brightness. If you lower the brightness to let's say 40% or 35%, it'll actually last you more, which I think is sufficient given you know a full working day. 
Anyway, now let's talk about pricing and availability. So this laptop is available in both 14 and 16 inches and I'll leave a link in the description for you to get it if you want to. You can also customize these laptops if you want, you know, like a higher chip configuration, more RAM on the website itself, which you will be able to go through again, the link will be in the description. And guys, there's also a 3000 rupees uh, discount code. So if you're really serious about buying it, you might want to use it. But yeah, that's it guys about the Lenovo IdeaPad Slim 5. I think it's a very well-rounded laptop for, you know, regular everyday use. And since it's AI enabled, it does streamline a lot of your everyday tasks. But hey, if you guys still have any questions, if you think I left anything that I haven't answered and it's in your mind, feel free to ask me in the comment section. And as always, if you did enjoy watching the video, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit that bell notification icon and mark all really helps the channel grow. I'll see you guys in the next one.